Hey guys, welcome back. I've got a Yardworks lawnmower here with a Briggs and Stratton engine. This mower came in the shop. Customer says, when I go to start it, it makes a weird noise and kicks back. Now, things you might want to consider if that is happening to your mower is that I hit something hard with it and the engine died all of a sudden, or are other things going on with the engine? But always try to think that I hit something because that's the first thing that I think about when a mower comes in like that and kicks back or makes a weird noise. So what I'll do right now is I'm going to attempt to start it. I got to be careful because the cord, the cord, the handle on the cord, I mean, can tend to pop out and pull back really suddenly so i got to be careful with that so i will attempt to start it just to show you what it's doing and then i'm going to diagnose it and fix it okay here we go I'll start it one more time, but did you notice the noise coming from here, it seems? There's that noise, now it's kicking back. Now the recoil's not catching. So sometimes banging stuff does work. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is flip this machine over to see if they've hit anything. So what I'll do here is flip it with the air filter facing up and I will be fairly quickly working on it uh, because if you leave it on its side too much, sometimes the oil can get into the muffler. So let's have a look here. So what I'm seeing is that the blade is off here. It's not straight with the adapter. And I'm going to grab my wrench here and see how tight this bolt is. And I do recommend to unplug the spark plug before you attempt to turn the blade while it's on its side. So definitely something happened here. And oh, the bolt's loose, see that? So this, I think this is what's causing the problem. So I'm going to line up the blade here. Actually, the adapter's a bit bent. Look at how bent the adapter is. So I'm going to remove the whole thing here. These are cheap mowers, by the way. So I'll just use my impact here. So have a look at this adapter, it's all bent. That's why the blade cannot be securely tightened in it. And what I think is happening is because the blade is not locked in this adapter, that's where the noise is coming from. See, the buttons here won't even get into the blade. Now, because the blade and the adapter are a bit hard for me to get here in Canada and the shipping is highly overpriced, is I convert the adapter and the blade to an MTD adapter and blade. And here it is, MTD adapter, MTD blade, extremely easy to get. And I will show you the part numbers as well and put them in the video description. So I'll take the key out here. I'll put some anti-seize on there. So if the customer ever brings back this mower, I will be able to remove the adapter. Now here's the adapter from MTD. It's got the MTD notches and all. And this will be part number 75306315. And what you get with that kit is the adapter, this big washer here, and the bolt. So as you'll see here, it'll fit perfectly. And it's also the right length for the blade to still be able to cut the grass. Just stick it in there, use the bolt. And now I'll tighten up the bolt by hand. And don't forget to reinstall the spark plug boot.
And now let's hope that that's all it was. So that's all it was guys. I'm glad it wasn't a sheared flywheel key or more internal damage to the engine. So again, I hope this video has helped you to do the conversion if you want to. It's much easier getting the MTD blades than the one for this machine. Usually MTD would make the bodies for these machines or AYP, but now it's some other obscure company. So that's why it's more difficult to get the parts for it. So I put all the part numbers in the video description in case you need to do this conversion. Also, if the video has been helpful to you, please make sure to like it and share it with your friends. And you guys have a great day.